Our guest in this segment, as we continue our interviews with those running for office in the city of Martinsburg, is uh, Heidi Crawford or Heidi Gibbons Crawford, if you uh, want to use See the signs. Three. Yeah, see the signs too. And she's running for at-large city council. Heidi, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Heidi's been on the show in the past too for Lights on the Lake and other things. Right. So it's nice yeah. to have you back here Thank without you. it being cold out. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, now let's uh, get down to the, the, the essence here of why you're deciding to run for office here, Heidi. Well, I never had any aspiration or goal to run for office at all. But when the seat came open, um, someone requested that I think about it. And um, so I, I, I'm already very involved with Main Street Martinsburg. I'm the board president for, for Main Street. Um, I've helped plan the events that are that happen downtown. So I'm already immersed in the in the city. Even before I moved in a year ago, I was immersed in the in the city. Um, so I thought, you know, I, on good counsel, people said, uh, you don't have to be qualified to, to do that job. You just have to care about the city and do what's right for the city. So I, um, that's why I'm here. You, you mentioned qualified or qualifications. Let's talk about who you are and the things that you've done and organizations you belong to to bring you to this point where you're running for office. Well, as I said, I'm the, the board president for Main Street Martinsburg. Um, I've been a nurse for many years. I worked for hospice. I worked for uh, the school system until just uh, the fall. I left there in the fall. Um, I do real estate. I sell real estate now. Um, but I've done a lot of fundraisers in the last five years, I guess. I've started working on um, just doing a lot of a lot of things for the community. So um, I do a kickball tournament for fundraising and just kind of uh, a little bit of everything. Maria. Heidi, you're such an energized, energetic person. Um, talk about um, your involvement. You, you mentioned some of the things that you're involved with in the city, but you went and bought a historic property a year ago. And the past year, I know you call it a labor of love, but sometimes yes. that love you know, can veer one way or the other, but, um, you know, what you've done with this property in Martinsburg and, and who you've seen while doing that. Yeah. So we, uh, my daughter and son-in-law and I purchased Aspen Hall Manor, which is the oldest home in Martinsburg. It was built in 1745. Um, it's on the street that I grew up on. I grew up, grew up on Boyd Avenue, um, three houses down from, from this property. So I've always known it. And, uh, so we purchased it and uh, it's an event venue, but we live there also. So my, my daughter, son-in-law, and my son, uh, who's 16, um, we live there and we work there and we've just been doing everything we can to bring it to a place that it's a, it's a lovely place again. It, it had uh, been neglected a bit for several years and so it just needed, needed a little love and attention and, and we're trying to do that. When you were growing up beside it, was it just a residence at the time? It was over. T it's been different things. It's been an air. Uh, it's been a bed and breakfast. It's been event space. It's been just a home. Um, I think they've done a little bit of everything in that yeah, in that house. Yeah. Um, when I was very little, it was nobody lived there, and we thought it was haunted. And you know, mm. we ride our bikes through there. And well, and just coming up Boyd Avenue again, having um, been in the event space, just coming up Boyd Avenue, you can see that at one point Boyd Avenue was a regal place in yeah. Martinsburg and yeah. you know ha there are different sections now but you know I certainly applaud you for um, you know for your work in making that just a, a beautiful event space and a place to live thank too. you we so. absolutely love it there are we do four at-large candidates two will get elected regardless of where you live correct, correct. yes right so the top two vote getters of the four are those who will be elected uh, to the uh, to the new city council term. And could I refer quickly yeah. on that? And this, I think, it's an important distinction. On the ballot, there's going to be two of you listed as Republican, two of you listed as Democrat. But that doesn't mean anything at all. No, nope, not yeah. at all. Not in, at all. In, in fact, case. it's optional to list your party on the city elections. Correct, correct. Correct. What do you see as the biggest challenges of the next four years for the city of Martinsburg that you've got to deal with? Well, I, I feel like there's just so many things that, that have to be uh, finalized. I feel like the city's worked so hard to uh, make so many improvements. Um, our challenges are definitely um, going to be uh, working on um, improved uh, 
perception of the city, improving the perception of uh, the downtown area and the, the council itself uh, and, and city staff. There's a lot of negative uh, stuff that you hear and, and I feel like we need to work on improving that. How will you improve it or combat it? Heidi? Just by continuing to do the great things that they're doing and, and putting that out there, I think that would be uh, important to, to do. Um, I, um, I think the city has a lot of big plans. They have the, um, the grant that they're waiting on, the raise grant that's gonna help with the, the trails. Uh, so getting that, and if that doesn't happen, then it'll just be a matter of getting that finalized in pieces. Hopefully we'll get the grant and we won't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, it's interesting you say the somewhat negative image. Uh, I don't live in the city, but I do not get those vibes. I do not get a lot of negativity around the city. In you need fact, to go on social media more. Bill. Well, and I don't go. Or <laughs> no, I mean, or no yeah. you don't. Yeah. I know you don't. Exactly. I hear exactly. you. I hear but, you. <laughs> but I get just the opposite. I get the sense that the city is doing good things there's a yeah. lot of a uh, uh, lot of energy good energy associated with it now. there is there is with the the city council right now the administration in there they're doing great things they really are and i just think we need to keep that momentum i think that the people that are in there doing the work are doing the work and they're getting it done well i think too that the the general consensus is What's the the um, the numbers game that if somebody says something bad, um, it takes seven times to refute that one bad thing that somebody has said. Yeah. So and it can just sort of catapult and move right. like wildfire, and and then all of a sudden you're like, what? No, that's not that's right. not the way it is. And and I tend to agree with you. I mean, we've lived in the city um, for the past nearly 30 years and um, have just seen it uh, just improve and and be a really good place to live and raise a family um, and you know and I'm excited about the future and and the park that's going to go through my backyard right are you listening <laughs> it's going to go it's going to yeah. go through my backyard as yeah, well. yeah 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 exactly right we'll, through be, our we'll just be walking through there so. a small yeah. price to pay so Bill can go for a stroll with his dog there exactly. you go right. my there dog you go. Right. not the just problem? one going to have two right. I look forward to it I ride the trail uh, on Route 9 three four times a week so I love, <coughs> I'm, I'm excited about being able to jump right on it in my backyard so what's what's broken in the city of Martinsburg that really needs fixed I think we need to work on getting the buildings back in repair I mean there's so many buildings that are just they just need a little assistance so that's gonna be a joint effort trying to get um, trying to get the business owners to get those those uh, corrected get tenants in them get businesses in them that's gonna help our city tremendously for a long time, people talked about the problem with absentee landlords, that yeah. that sort of feeds into the issue with um, with those buildings and falling into disrepair. And, you know, how can a landlord who lives who knows how far away um, really care? They just do the bare minimum. Is that still an issue, do you think? Or has that sort of changed uh I'm going to be honest, because I've not been that involved in that aspect of it, I don't know the answer to where the owners are or, or any of that, but um, but I'm trying to learn as much as I can. I've met with the mayor, I've met with the city manager, I'm just trying to learn all I can about the, the business of the city and, and how it runs and how it works. But um, But I do feel like that's something we need to work on is getting, beautifying the area, which would, part of that would be the... Um, the aesthetics of the of the building and getting storefronts filled yes, i mean there sure. are a lot that a lot of um businesses have come in a lot of businesses come and go um unfortunately it's yeah. a it's a hard hard sell yeah. to be downtown and main street we're working on that as well trying to trying to join um entrepreneurs with with the buildings so we're, we have a project we're working on with that as well so we have a lot of beautiful buildings, uh, but there's two that really stands out as majestic buildings. One is the old post office right mm -hmm. across from the federal building, and the other one is the county uh, county courthouse, which uh, as the county assimilates uh, to the Dunn building, that building's going to have to be repurposed, reused. Uh, 
tremendously beautiful buildings, they but are. a very expensive building to maintain. Right. Uh, and I assume the county will keep ownership of the county courthouse, but I don't know the plans. The old port, uh, old post office is under private ownership. It is. Diego, the person who yeah. owns the, the garage, who has the garage, owns that. And he has plans for it. I don't know that he's decided exactly which route oh, okay. he's going to go, um, but he's kind of feeling it out to see what's going to be the best fit for that, that building. Was my, that was my question, but yeah. it's premature to ask that question. Yeah, I, I, don't, I couldn't answer it. Yeah. He, Diego mm -hmm. would have to. Hey, talk to us about the committees that you've been on and uh, your working relationships, the keys. As a council member, you're one of seven, and then you've got Correct. the mayor who sets the agenda. Uh, so you, just because you want to do something doesn't mean that you can. Give me us an example of how you've been able to do that in a committee system, such as Main Street, Martinsburg, or whatever, where you had a goal and you were able to get it accomplished. Well, I, I think the city works really hard at that. They they have a goal, and they if they don't have the financing, they try to find a a grant for it or uh, funding from some outside source and I think that's that has to be your goal if you have something that needs to be fixed you you just have to find a way to get it done whether it's whether it's um, right can, away or can you give us future. an example of, of a committee or commission you've been a part of that's accomplished something like that well I mean with with Main Street I can tell you that uh, every goal that we've had uh, it's just a matter of getting funding so all the fundraisers that we do um, it's to it's to reach a, a common goal uh, to beautify the the city and make it more appealing and, and appeasing to Martinsburg and it seems like the wine fest every year there's some rain event that comes in on it were you involved in the yes, wine fest yes, this year we were we we were in our rain it rained. I was there from 6 a.m. on on the day and yeah we were there all day uh, and the night before um, but yeah it's and that's a beautiful venue it is. and a fun event it is. Um, have been there have worked that before not this year but um, but yeah so uh, help me with the math uh, very quickly, Heidi. You're in an at-large district. Uh, there are four of you running. Correct. Uh, this was the district that Coral Roman was in. Right. Who was the other incumbent that is not on the ballot? A uh, Steve Knipe is he's incumbent, but he's running again. Oh, Steve yes, Knipe yes. is an incumbent. Yeah. I did not yeah. realize. Okay, that yeah. make that makes sense. That's, yeah. that's actually fourth, Steve's yeah. coming in studio. Next. Yes, I, oh, I realize it. Okay, good. Good. Yeah. good. All right. Uh, let's look forward to. Uh, let's go ten years out. Heidi, if you're able to do the things that you'd like to do, like get elected to city council, where is your vision for Martinsburg 10 years out from now? What's it look like? My vision would be that it's more more comfortable, more walkable, that there's not going to be anybody complaining about uh, being unsure to walk from the monument building, the, the new interwoven uh, apartments down to the garage or down to Stoney's or one of those restaurants on the other end of town um, uh, so that would be my goal and it, that's gonna take some work it's gonna take some uh, some people it's gonna take um, Main Street has a, a program the ambassador program where we're gonna have people um, three um, three part-time people that are gonna be visible on the street doing events runs walks coffee hours things like that downtown just to just to be a presence maybe ride a bike on the trail that kind of thing so and I some people <clears throat> some people have complained i have heard um about um a group or individuals that sort of camp out in front of the library um and either um you know don't necessarily right. cause a ruckus but they're there um, for certain parts of the day, is there anything that you can do to um, to work with those folks? The the rescue mission, obviously, um, people stay there overnight, but right. during the day they need to go somewhere. Right. So, are right. they walking the streets of Martinsburg? And is there anything that that you can do with that? Or? I don't know that there's a lot that be, that can be done, but th most of those people, I would say, do need some assistance. And 
Uh, the city's working very hard on that. The, the police department has three social workers uh, on, on um, staff now. So when they have a situation with somebody that may have a substance abuse issue or, or mental need housing health or mental health, something like that, uh, they can assist with those things. And so because you can't criminalize, you know, they, you hear that all the time, you can't criminalize ho homelessness, but that's true. Um, so you just have to try to help them as much as you can. And I don't know that there's much more that, that could be done. Um, but but uh, we can try to, to get people like that assistance as much as we can. Heidi Gibbons Crawford, our guest here, candidate for at-large city council. That name Gibbons is familiar to a lot of people. What's the relationship, Heidi? My brother Aaron is the police chief of Main Street Martinsburg. So uh, when I'm elected, I'm going to say when I'm elected, I might have to abstain from some votes that, with regard to city of uh, uh, police issues or Main Street Martinsburg for that matter since I'm um, involved with those two issues but would you stay involved with Main Street Martinsburg as a council absolutely. person absolutely absolutely I love I love the organization I think they do great things and they're gonna continue to do great things and so. have partnered very well with the city yes correct? yes absolutely it's a great working park uh, working relationship the city helps with all of our events we they um, manage the the public works and the police and they they all are very very visible there. One of our commenters on Facebook, uh, you were talking about Wine Fest earlier, Maria, and they mentioned something about a kids fest. Why? Why? There's uh, we're, we're looking for more things to do to bring adults into the city. That makes sense. Adults have money to spend. Uh, how about more things for kids in the city of Martinsburg? Absolutely. What would you like to do there? Well, we do have the back to school bash, which um, that's right before school starts, and that was very well attended last year. It was at the Roundhouse. We. Um, uh, gave away over 700 backpacks and lots of other school supplies for kids that that are in need um, but yes we do need to add more kid focused uh, events family friendly events in the downtown area and I know for example the St. Patrick's Day event um, there's you know an area where there there's music and I know that there are Irish dancers mm -hmm. that are young people who take part in that lots of folks bring their kids to um you know to those kinds of events too so i don't think it's yeah and we do try to have bounce houses other. and slides and things like that when we can uh get those for for the downtown events we do try to try to do that Heidi, oh, good, ahead, Bill. No, I was going to say, we, we, the Martinsburg has done a lot recently. Is there any one thing that is missing that the, you as a city council would try to actively pursue? I really honestly don't think there is. I think they're on the right track with everything they're trying to do. Um, I mean, I'm actually shocked nobody, you didn't ask me about parking. That seems to be the question everybody well, has. Feel free to offer a solution. Go right ahead. <laughs> oh, we discussed that quite a bit with, I with know, Kevin I know. Knowles recently. Yeah, I just, well, last 30 but you might yeah. have a vote on it. What would you like to do about parking in the city? Well, I, I know that it's something that needs to be addressed, and the, the private-public partnership is something that's that's going to need to be uh, worked on, and, and I think that's important. But I also do very strongly feel that if you go into another big city, you're not going to expect to park right in front of a restaurant. Nope. Um, you're going to walk a block. You're going to walk a block and a half, and that's um, that's not uncommon. If you go to Walmart and get a gallon of milk, uh, you walk 700 feet. We did a little test. To, <laughs> <laughs> Born to out get, fact. <laughs> to, to get a gallon of milk and back to your car, and there's not uh, there's not a place you're going to go downtown that you're going to walk further than that. So for me... Yeah. I don't mind walking a block or block and a half because then I don't feel so guilty having whatever dessert or, you know, so <laughs> that's me. I like your rationalization <laughs> there. Uh, Heidi, the last minute is yours. Go ahead and talk to our listeners and viewers and tell them if they live in the city why they should vote for you as an at-large council. Well, first, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And um, I do wish we would have been able to have a forum. I think that would have been great. Um, but uh, I, I ask for your vote in the city of Martinsburg. I uh, care deeply uh, for the city of Martinsburg, and I want to see the businesses succeed. I want to see the uh, residents happy and and walking and, and taking part in all the things downtown. And uh, I um, look forward to doing everything I can to help us achieve that together. So, And thank you for... Your currency Those are from that you're De spending. Fleury's, yes, from De Fleury's Chocolates downtown, some little snacks. Because I know you guys love snacks. We, we like do snacks. love snacks. <laughs>
The Heidi, payoff is right? just great. <laughs> Heidi, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Heidi Crawford, Heidi Gibbons Crawford, running for uh, city council in at-large seat in this.